Uh, hi, my name is Greg Mello and this is my gallery. Um, I was featured here when I was in high school about 10 years ago, so it's nice to be back to the Dartmouth Town Hall. These are pieces that I've been working on for the past year, so from January 2014 till about November 2014. Um, except the pieces behind me over here. This is my kid's book um, based off of my title character, Maggie Dewdrop. Um, she's a mouse that was raised by bats, and her one dream is to fly with the rest of her family. So she made a wish on a star, and um, she was given a magical gift to make her dreams come true. To publish my first kid's book, I've decided to raise a Kickstarter campaign at kickstarter.com, keyword, search, make Maggie fly. I need everyone's help to get on board, at least to get the word spread out, and I figured that being showcased in the Dartmouth Town Gallery and showing a couple of my pieces might spark interest for um, potential patrons. I started art school when I was three years old. Um, Disney and The Wizard of Oz have been a big artistic inspiration for me. Um, also, classic movie Hollywood, um, monsters, all that good magical stuff. Um, Harry Potter was a big inspiration in high school. Uh, fairy tales, I've always read. So, writing and illustrating kind of just fell hand in hand. I graduated Dartmouth High School in 2005 and I took AP art class uh, two years in a row. I was one of the very few people that was actually passionate enough at a young age to do so. Um, so the people at Dartmouth High, the art department, have been really great in making sure that I got to where I wanted to be. I ended up graduating with a bachelor's in illustration at the UMass, UMass Dartmouth. Now I'm just pretty much trying to realize my dream of being an author and illustrator. So um, with these works, I decided to make a couple of different collections to showcase my multifaceted art skills, I guess if you want to call it. I can do fashion sketches, I can do um, children's book illustrations, still lifes, and landscape paintings. I just want to be as versatile as I can to fall into any sort of niche that might come my way. When I was in school I was kind of limited, well I did limit myself to what I could do. I kind of stayed in a very narrow vein of work that couldn't really get me anywhere um, if I didn't make myself be a little bit more adaptable. So I think that was a challenge that I definitely surmounted and can showcase here because I think Pretty much every wall has a different story behind it and also a different style, but it's still Greg Mello work. So this is another collection that I've been working on uh, with the signs of the Zodiac. Um, I plan on having a complete series and selling them as part of a lithograph set. The couple that I've showcased here were a few per uh, personal favorites. I'm a Cancer and I have a couple other people in my life that, you know, sparked the inspiration for starting this collection and they were all featured first. But eventually I'll have all 12 finished and available for a, um, a lithograph set. And eventually I want to make it into a quilt. Printing it on fabric can start experimenting with um, putting my artwork on textiles, t-shirts and stuff like that. I definitely think that my work is pretty marketable. Like I said before, the more multifaceted you are in the art industry, I feel the more chances that you're going to be able to get. And if you limit yourself, then you're probably not going to get where you want to be in terms of trying to get your name and your artwork out there. So I figured the more versatile I can be, then the more easier it would be able to get noticed and be able to fit into um, an ever-changing industry. This painting is called Siren on a Gloomy Day, and it was actually the first painting that I finished in 2014, um, tail end of 2013. She's framed in an 18th century frame, which is pretty cool. And um, it's one of those things where I never have professionally framed my artwork before, and to see my artwork in a frame that's this old is pretty neat because they almost complement each other really well.
Thank you for watching. Um, make sure that you check out my Facebook and my Twitter page and follow my artwork. And I just wanted to give a special shout out to the DC TV crew and Dr. Cynthia Marlin for um, giving me the opportunity to showcase my artwork in a place where it all began back in 2004 for my first AP art show. So keep on drawing if you're an artist out there because you never know what will happen.